Hello my friends, my name is Stephen Maniv with Stephen Maniv Yacht Sales and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat or share my knowledge on anything boating. Let's get into the news. The marine industry is looking good. Um, slightly down from yesterday, but look at Marine Max. 7.87% gain today. That's awesome. Um, good for them. Okay, we'll check it out tomorrow again. Let's get... Oops. Let's get into the news. Where did we leave off? We left off here yesterday. Okay. On board with Fred Rouse, iconic marine group. So they're from the Lake of the Ozarks. They uh, have done an amazing job reviving the performance boat market. Um, at the Lake of the Ozarks, they earn one billion dollars in annual revenue. It's better than a million. Congratulations, Fred, uh, and on all your success. Um, keep it going. That's awesome. Okay, uh, Zyk relaunches wetsuit uh, line for young sailors so they made an article on that this is their site it's really cool uh, it's a really nice site they have really interesting products check them out they've got videos and all okay next Golden Resign, oh sorry, Golden Redesigns Kayak Launch. So, um, so it looks like they made they're they're like a lift company. Um, nope, that's not them. That's not them either. That's not them. Here we go, Golden. Looks like a nice site and number of lifts sold. They've sold 74,000 countries that they have it in 146 and number of technicians 191. Wow. Custom boat, boat lifts are made for all PWC personal watercraft and boats up to 240,000 pounds. They've been around for 35 years. Check them out. Okay, next. Sea Sucker introduces Offshore Warrior Set. Where are you? Uh, so that's Sea Sucker. $315 for this Offshore Warrior Set. Are you an Offshore Warrior guy? Little boats and little fish, just not your style? No, we put this set together just for you. It includes a super strong heavy duty trolling unit, pro series tool holder, and a large dry box. Okay, great, Sea Suckers. I'm sure you, a lot of you have heard of Sea Suckers. They're always at the boat show. Um, but look, that's what it is. See that? So basically, you it's a suction cup. Um, Similar to what you've seen, I'm sure you've seen the, the, uh, oh, sh the, uh, the suctions for the GoPros. Well, they make it for um, boating, and they've got a bunch of accessories. So this one is an interesting one. Look at that. Wow. Can suck anything to fiberglass. Okay, as long as it's smooth. Next. Next, next, let's keep it going. Fishability test with uh, Belzona 27CC. CC means center console. Okay, 27, a real catch. This is, this is funny. Everybody, everybody uses that. R-E-E-L. Okay, good looking boat, dive door on the, starboard side looks like typical center console 
Oh, look at that. Is that carbon fiber? That's cool. Look at that. Is that... Look at this. Uh, look at the steering wheel knob. I mean, looks like carbon fiber, but it's not. Right behind my head. It's just the way that the metal's uh, the metal's done. Whatever that is, I like it. That is, I think it's an Edison. Let's check them out. I like that steering wheel. Edison. Let's just try. Let's just see. Edison. What did I put? Oh, did I spell it wrong? Hmm, let's go. I'm like going. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, but we're like going off on a tangent here. But that's okay. That's okay, because you're here to learn, and so am I. Okay, let's check this out. I want to find this wheel. I want to find this wheel. Stainless finish, okay. Satin finish, that might be, that could be it. Mm, but it's not. Or is it? No, no, it's not that. Okay, let's find this. Bear with me, or just fast forward. Um, Special ops come for grip. <sighs> All right, uh, I won't spend too much time on it. If you guys know about it, tell me. Comment below, or just send me a, a text or something. Mm. Anyways, look at that. Look, look, look. I mean, ah. <gasps> No, I know what it is. Forget about it. I think it's the reflection, no? Is it the reflection of the back? I don't know. Somebody comment, please. Is it the reflection? Is the stainless steel reflecting off the carbon fiber? Or is this... Look, it keeps going this way. Somebody find out, please. Okay, next. So anyways, uh, that was a nice boat. Let's keep looking at it. Nice Mercs, twins. I don't think they do a triple. Uh, no, they wouldn't, it's 27, it's under 30. It wouldn't make sense. Actually, that 200 horsepower each, you could probably go up to three. Uh, I'm wondering if you could do twin 300s. 200 might be the max here. Yeah, usually boat yard, or sorry, boat, uh, when it's their first boat, they'll probably max it out. So with twin 200s, that's probably the max here. But if I'm wrong, let me know. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, okay, what, oh, here we go. Priority One Financial Services announced the passing of Glenn Vogel. So I'm sure he was a really good guy. Uh, if they wrote about him, uh, I'm sure he was a big player in the boating industry, so um, you can read about that. Okay. Jibo announces cuts due to COVID-19. Um, it's got to be related to the boating industry, so you can read about that. Life Industries produces sanitizer so uh, let's see expanding the production they're expanding the production and availability of sanitizer a disinfectant solution this is in response to a request from the South Carolina Department of Commerce to help fight the spread of COVID-19 and flatten the pandemic curve huh so this is the stuff this is the company that is bright um, so this is the company and you can look them up. Here we go. Nope. Nope. 
Oh, there it is. Okay, so you can read more about it and buy their stuff. Thank you, Life Industries Corporation. Okay, next. Let's keep it going. Uh, USCG guidelines for PFD, personal flotation device. Uh, decontamination. Let's look at that. So this is this is who they're talking about. They are the official website of the U.S. Coast Guard's Boating Safety Division. Check them out. You'll learn a lot in there. The NMMA webinar on stimulus package and boating. So they'll be hosting a webinar this Friday on how the $2 trillion stimulus bill recently signed into law by President Trump will help marine businesses during the unprecedented COVID-19 crisis. Read and go check that out if you want to. Shifting gears, photos of the Lexus LY650 car. Oh, what? Why a car? Hold on, let's go in there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it just said car next to it, see? Yeah, okay. No problem. Okay, uh, yeah, you see right here it said car companies, so, but it's not that. Uh, Lexus LY650, pretty boat. Yeah, so if you guys didn't know, Lexus made a boat, uh, I think several years ago, I remember them like playing around with one, and it looks like they actually did it, and they debuted. You guys wanna see it for a second? Let's look at it. Change for cars. Oh. Kind of come and go. But Lexus is really diving in with both feet in this unique partnership. And to better understand what. It's, it's yeah. so far so good. It's yeah. really amazing that we. The, the, we've been aboard for about 40, 50 seconds. You can already see the Lexus touches in the design here. Whether it's the, the leather leather headliner here and, and the stitching or, or just the way the, the seating here, it, it feels auto-inspired and, and feels a lot like the Lexus we were in this morning. No, the quality is definitely there, isn't it? It feels very similar quality to the LC500. So yeah. what's going on over here? Well, this looks like an area that people would be spending a lot of time is wide open and I think this boat does it exceptionally well especially with the size of these forward windshields we're looking at and those those are probably the biggest forward windshields I've seen on a boat in this size category right you got your family and maybe you spend a lot of time at sea but now suddenly you have your parents or, or kids aboard they're running around in the sea I could see somebody else trying to do this and it would come off as too much let's see right within a boat of this size. A lot of different seating arrangements. Thank you. Warren, uh, what stood out to you? Anything, anything surprising? So look, uh, gallons per hour, 98, 37, 37, 37 knots? That's, that's good. Um, range, 382. Okay. Okay, great. Look it up. Uh, 
I'm just I was just reading this again. Uh, this is cool. Okay, look it up. Uh, installing a thermal imaging camera on a boat. So, um, if I have it pulled up here, because it took a long time to load. Let's just. Oh, here it is. I had it up because there was a lot of pictures here. Look at that. Oh, it's still loading. What? Anyways, this is this is cool. Th they're showing you how to install like a FLIR camera or, or any thermal imaging device. Um, look, they're talking about the FLIR here. Yep. That's cool. That's cool. They made a they made an article explaining it, and that's uh, who's that? Boating Mag. Thank you, Jimi Hendrix. That's this is Jimi Hendrix. He's he he writes a lot. He writes a lot. I want to know what he. Look at that. These are all the things he he wrote. Remember yesterday he wrote that article, and then he wrote several others before that. That's nice. Okay, and last but not least, a beloved tall ship sinks in its berth. Uh, so, the Pilgrim, an, an icon at California's Ocean Institute, sank at its berth in uh, Dana Point, or Dana Point. <sighs> 1945. Imagine the insurance claim, <laughs> or imagine calling the insurance. Uh, yes, my boat uh, unfortunately sank. Oh yeah, what year is it? 1945. Good luck, man. Look at that. It was valued at six million dollars. Okay. Well, and that's and from soundings. So that's it. That's it for today. We kind of ran through everything pretty quick. Uh, I mean, this is how it is. It's daily boating. And that's it. Let's go back here. So thanks for watching. My name is Stephen Maneve with Stephen Maneve Yacht Sales, and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat, or share my knowledge on anything boating. You can always connect with me through phone, email, or any of my social media channels. I'll see you on the water. You've earned it. That time I did right. Okay.